So today we're gonna to work on our chameleon pieces. And when the clay is really soft and fresh like this, I'm finding that it's really sort of mushy and it's best to get our pieces ready and then let them kind of firm up a little bit over the next couple days. So you're gonna start with a slab, which is a flat piece of clay and make sure it's always on top of the canvas bag when you're working so it doesn't stick to the table. Go ahead and lay your tropical leaf template on your slab and grab your pin tool. Let me see where I put mine. Okay, grab your pin tool. I've got a little bit of stuff on mine I'm trying to clean off. And if your clay is way too large, you might just cut some off right in the beginning like that. And then try to hold this flat down, press it onto the clay. Start way over here at the edge and then come over to this edge when I'm tracing because what will happen is that can come off and to me I find that helpful. Um, now I'm going to go back to my pattern. I'm going to trace along this white line but then I'm going to come over to the edge just to pull the piece off. These little grooves it's best to go in the middle of them and come outward in the middle come outward and the piece automatically comes off. Come down here and I'm really, I think this time I'm gonna just follow the curve of the leaf all the way over. And you see how simple it is to get these pieces off, but in these definitely start in the interior, drag the tool out. And when you're doing this, you should have the pin tool all the way down to where you feel the table because then you get a clean cut. You're not gonna get something all rough looking, okay? Work your way all the way around the leaf, removing parts as you go by taking the tool all the way over, okay? Make sure the pattern stays relatively flat. If it moves a little bit, no big deal. And again, going in, out to the edge, in, out to the edge, in, out to the edge. I think I'll do this whole line like that. And then once more in, out to the edge. Then your pattern can come off and you should have a pretty good leaf shape like that, okay? All these little edges that don't seem like a big deal right now need to be smoothed because if they're not, what happens is they get really rough and really sharp in the kiln. So you can either use a damp sponge, and damp means that my sponge is not soaking, dripping wet because that'll just make the clay a total disaster. Um, but if it's just damp, it's helping me to soften the edges so that I get a nice, smooth result when this dries and fires. Eventually I'll wanna smooth the back too, but right now this is pretty wet and I'm actually gonna store it in my Ziploc bag. So when you have your bag, your, your name should be on it. Open this up really wide. I like to kind of lift this underneath the canvas bag, stick my fingers underneath, Try to hold that flat on the palm of your hand and then very carefully slide it into the bag. Don't drop it in, it'll smush. So slide it into the bag like this. And we're just gonna leave this for a day or two because we want the air to get to it and we want this to start to dry out and firm up a little bit because then we can smooth the other side. We can carve a little bit of veins if we want and we can attach our chameleon without it feeling all soupy and, and mushy and loose. So I'm just going to scoot this out of my way and I'm going to start preparing my chameleon parts. If you have a whole lot of extra clay like I did, this is going to be plenty. If you need a little bit more, you can come up to the supply table and grab some out of the bag. But what I want to begin with is really just a ball to combine all this. Maybe press it a little bit. And I'm gonna start rolling it back and forth. Sometimes I bang it a little bit as I go. And once you get going, try to really go to your hands back and forth as much as you can to get this rounder and just kind of guide it along the way. 
Eventually what we're gonna wanna do is leave the chest or the body here thick and taper the tail. So to do that, I'm gonna start rolling with my hand flat just on this end part. I'm gonna to try to leave that part relatively alone. And it's gonna take quite a while to get this long enough for a tail. But notice this is starting to thin out and this is wider, so I'm gonna keep that going. If you mess up or it's not going right, we have the ability to start over, which is the blessing of clay. So don't let that worry you too much. Now it's tapering even more, thicker to thin, and I really need to stretch this out quite a bit in order to curl a tail. Sometimes the clay becomes a little bit flat and so I keep kind of trying to give it a gentle pounding so that I can start to round this back the way I want it to. And now it's really starting to take shape. However, I'm gonna still go with this. Going back and forth. Really get it going now. It's starting to look almost like an icicle. And this needs to be even more stretched out. Thinner, thinner, thinner. And right now, this thinness right here is almost the same distance as this, and it really needs to be at least that much or more in order to have a curly chameleon tail that will spiral. If it starts to get a little bit dry and cracking, you can take some dampness from your sponge because it needs just a little bit of moisture. Okay, so that's probably pretty good if you can see that shape like this. So it goes from thick down to thin and it's relatively round. This is gonna curl into the tail and to make sure it's extra secure, I think I'm gonna take my comb tool, make sure there's no gunk in there. And just starting where it gets thinner, I'm gonna really gently score this. Just not a whole lot, just a little bit and put a little bit of the slip, which is your clay glue, onto here. I don't want it to be too goopy or, or anything like that, but this will help it attach and stay attached. And then I'm gonna take the end of the tail here and I'm just gonna start rolling it up like a snail or a chameleon tail until I get about here, okay? And then I'm just gonna check it out if I have any little cracks. I'm gonna smooth them very gently, adding maybe a little bit of moisture. And then on this side here, I may even want to support this with my hands and kinda of tap that flat a bit so that the body will have something to attach to. Okay, and I'm just kinda of checking it out, making sure I like the shape, pressing down a little bit to make sure that that's gonna stand up and I might wanna curl the tail just a little more, so I'm gonna score. I'm going to slip. And I'm gonna pinch mine just a little bit tighter because I don't want the body, at least on mine, to be too long, okay? When this is done, there will be more to do later, like attaching legs and head um, and adding texture, but at the moment that's as far as I want to take it so that it can also dry out. And again, I'm going to grab my bag, open the end very carefully so that my coil doesn't come apart, slide that in beside the jungle leaf, okay? That might be as far as we get today, and I'm going to pause the video and then show you how to create the head and legs and other pieces.